is guidelines for nutrition in critically ill patients uh, a real look for indian scenarios so the reason why we came out with this guideline is there were no indian guidelines addressing the nutritional goals in intensive care patients and this we published in um, ijccm in year 2018 and as you can see the authors i think uh, even i am one of the author for creating this guideline so we had multiple meetings supported by abort uh, and we formulated this guideline so why is it important that we need to have uh, the indian guidelines so we'll just look into the back background of nutrition in intensive care so i think in uh, any icu patients so there is uh, element of immune dysfunction and there is an ongoing muscle weakness and wasting that uh, overrides some of the medical problems that patient may be admitted with and there is increasing gi tolerance that is very distinctly seen in intensive care patients and all this together leads to a ventilatory dependence because each one of these variables immune dysfunction muscle wasting and jet intolerance has a bearing on ventilatory duration and uh, dependence and difficulty in weaning and there are other uh, distinct problems seen in intensive care patients like uh, aspiration and um, and you have gastroesophageal reflux which leads to aspiration so all this increases the morbidity of patients in intensive care and this may uh, further compound the problem by causing sepsis and multi organ dysfunction so so this uh, these are the elements that remain on the background which have a profound impact on the nutritional status of the patients and uh, and nutritional impact having a bearing on the morbidity and mortality of the patients in intensive care so why why do we think uh, the guidelines is important and what are the uh, elements or the variables that we have addressed Uh, in the guidelines so the one thing we needed to address is obviously the timing of enteral nutrition so uh, all of you would agree there is absolutely no debate at this point of time that the every patient in intensive care should be fed unless otherwise there is an absolute contraindication then that is a quality indicator so we look and that that remains true even for our indian patients and uh, we need to have some understanding as to why this uh, intensive care patients need to be fed and the route of nutrition so which is the ideal route of nutrition and which are all the patients that need to be fed so for me the answer would be all patients should be fed unless otherwise there is absolute contraindication and what about the composition of the diet i think that also becomes important and what type of feeds that need to be given and ideal composition so these are some of the things that we need to